Hello and welcome to Tipping Point, the quiz where our players live on the edge of their nerves while you watch from the edge of your seat. It's all about this magnificent machine. She's stacked with counters which are all worth money. The player's job is simply to get them out, over the tipping point and into their accounts. One of them will survive to play for £10,000, the others will leave with nothing. Let's meet the four players, all hoping they'll have that crucial edge today. I'm Rini, I'm airline cabin crew and I'm from Hampshire. I'm James. I'm a director of a timber merchant from Worcestershire. I'm Eve. I'm a marketing manager from Maidenhead. I'm Ben. I'm a project worker for a children's charity and I'm from Crawley. Welcome to all of you. Best of luck. Let's play Tipping Points. In round one you have three counters, three chances to make some money. Questions are on the buzzer. A correct answer gives you a choice. Do you play one of your own counters or do you make one of your opponents play instead? For every counter that comes over the tipping point, you get £50. Whoever has the least money at the end of the round will leave us. Timing is everything. When to play and when to hold back. Don't forget, if you give me a wrong answer, we will take that precious counter and it will go into the penalty pot. All of those counters will be up for grabs on the buzzer on one question at the end of the round, so everything can change. OK, fingers on your buzzers. Here comes your first question. In Greek mythology, who was the leader of the Argonauts? Ben? Jason. Watch Jason. Well done. Great start. Ben, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I think I'll play, Ben. You've been studying the machine nicely? Yeah. She's looking generous? Uh, she's, looking, she's looking maybe ready to go, yeah. OK, whereabouts? I think I'll go with uh, number four. OK, we're going to start at drop zone four, please. So this is the first of your three counters, Ben. Let's see if we can get something over the tipping point and into your account. When you're ready, release away. Nice. Very nice. Quick drop, Ew, second right in the middle. That's how we roll. That's how there we roll. Are. Oh. 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 <laughs> it hasn't paid off, I'm afraid, Ben. No. Just goes to show you can never be sure what sort of damage you can do. But having said that, there's huge overhang over that top yeah, shelf. It's a pretty now. good position. Looking good for somebody to come in. Before she's dropped. So you've used up your first counter, Ben, I'm afraid. Yeah. Long way still to go. Next question, everybody. Which European city is served by Marco Polo Airport? Greeny. Venice. It is Venice. Do you fancy putting one in the machine? I'm going to ask Ben to put one of his in the machine. Wow. Ooh. So it could be your chance to get revenge on the machine, or Greeny could have played quite a hard hand there. Mm. What do you reckon? I think I'll go with drop zone four again. OK. OK. Let's get something over the tipping point when you're ready. Tricky. Not so need happy. something now, Ben. Yeah. yeah. It's not looking too good. Yes. Settle nicely. Oh. You need something over the edge. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Six over the tipping point. Three hundred pounds, Rini. That could have been yours. As it is, it's going straight into Ben's bank. Well played, Ben. You've got Woo. one counter left. Rini, James, Eve. We need to get some money. Try and track him down. Champion driver Sebastian Vettel races for which Formula One team? James. Red Bull. It is Red Bull. Well done, James. So, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I think I'll have a go. Yeah? Whereabouts? I'm going to go for three, I think. We're going to go with drop zone three for James. OK. Oh, quick clean drop. Come on. Nice, nice. Over the edge. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. Push. Oh. Yes! Oh, nice £150. Oh. Straight off. Your first counter and you're on the board. Well done. Everybody in. What type of clothing are pedal pushers? James. Trousers. You could have trousers, short trousers or calf length trousers. I'll accept them all. Well done. You get another go. Well, it worked last time, so I'll have another go myself, I think. OK, where are you going to go? I'm going to go for four, I think, this time. We're going further over to drop zone four with James's second counter. Oh, all the way a bit. Oh. It's always nice when it comes out and settles, but is that going to go over the edge? Oh, it is. Oh, come on. Okay. Push well, a bit. Tipping points. Go on. Oh. Another one over the tipping point. They all count. £50 for you, James. Into your bank, you've now got £200. Everybody, hands on your buzzers. In 2011, which cricket star got engaged to Liz Hurley? Ben. Uh, Shane Warne. That's right. It's your last counter, Ben. You can either play it or 
you could force somebody else to have a go. Uh, I think I'm going to have a go. You're yeah. going to play? Okay. Yeah, go big. I'll stick with the old favourite, drop zone four. Yeah. Okay. You get as much money as you can now, Ben. Try and extend this yeah. lead. Okay. Settle flat. Are you going to get enough over the edge? Yes, you are. Oh, no, no. You get something. I'll get another make yeah. Another two. Let's take that hundred pounds and we put it into your bank, Ben. You've used up all your counters, but you've got four hundred pounds. So, Rini, James, and Eve, this question's for you. Antrim and Down are counties, Rini. Northern Ireland. That's correct. Well done, Rini. Now, are you going to play this time? Feeling brave? I'm going to play. Okay. What do you think? Uh, number three. Okay, we're going to go with drop zone three. See if we can get Rini's account open. Some money over the tipping point. Rini, when you're ready, release your first count. Ooh. They're all settling nicely. Stay there. Oh. 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 Could be good. Oh. oh. Six <laughs> over the tipping points. I like that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> You've got yourself £300 that goes straight into your bank. Great start. In the Pirates of the Caribbean films, who plays Elizabeth Swan? Eve. Kira Knightley. That's right. OK, so, would you like to play Eve, or would you like to put James or Rini in the position? I think I'll give it a go. OK, whereabouts? Uh, number three, please. OK, let's have drop zone three, please. When you're ready, away you go. Just came back mm. towards us, didn't it? Mm. That was our one. Now then. Ooh. Come on. Come on, come on. You're going to get enough of a nudge on that small overhang. This middle one. Ooh. Come on. In the middle. Oh, no. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Two. Over the tipping point. Take that £100 and put it straight in your bank. Everybody has money now. It is very, very close. Next question. Which comic strip hero's enemy is called Bluto? James. Popeye. It is Popeye. So, your last counter, would you like to play it? I'll play. Okay. I think I'll go for two. All right. First time down drop zone two today. You need four counters out to draw a level with Ben. Um, oh. That'll do. That could be good if it lies flat. We need it to get down flat. There you go. That's nice. Can it shift them? Go on, fall. Stay there. Come on. Oh, oh, yes, that's what we wanted. Oh, no. oh, Come on! Three over the tipping point, another £150, James. You end up with £350. You've used up all your counters, like Ben. You were out of the running for the time being. Eve, you've got £100. We need £300. Your question. Il Duce was the title adopted by which Italian director? Really? Mussolini. It was Mussolini. Which Italian dictator? Would you like to play, Rini? Or would you like to force Eve to play instead? Well, it's all looking nicely piled up in front of drop zone four. But if it goes anywhere else, it doesn't look so good. Um, but I'll risk it. I'll go for number four. OK, we're going to go with drop zone four. We need to be pretty accurate, or as accurate as we can be, Rini. Very quick, mm. clean drop. Is that where you wanted it? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, which case? Oh. Oh. Flip. Yes. Oh. 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 Another two. That's OK. Stick that £100 into your bank. That means you have £400 with just the one counter remaining. Eve, you've got two and £100. Need to try and get you some money, Eve. Which Elton John hit begins with the words, it's a little bit funny, this feeling inside? Eve. Your song? Is your song. Well done. Do you fancy forcing Rini to play her last counter, or do you think the machine's looking generous and you can get some money? I think I'm going to give it a give it a try. OK. I think I'll go for number two. You've got two counters left. When you ready, away you go. They always tempt fate when they're on their edge. Oh, come on. It's flat. Oh. It is flat. Can you get something stay over where the you lip? Are. Yeah, that right. shelf? Stay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't oh, yeah. fall. Well played. Oh. Come on. Oh. 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 Two, which is £100, which goes straight into your bank. You have £200. The next question. What does the A stand for in the name of the London Museum, the V&A? Albert. It is Albert. Well done. So you've got one counter left. 
Do you fancy playing it or do you fancy making Eve use her last counter? Drop zone four, four has been good to me, so I'm going to go for drop zone four. We're going to stick there? Yeah. Oh, that slid a bit too far. Is that okay? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, man. Oh, wow. oh, loads. Another six over the dimming point. So we get £300. You now have £700. You've now taken the lead. Well played. So we come to you, Eve. It's your last chance to get some money. In which month is All Hallows Eve? Eve. October. It is October. Phew. Well done. So, <sighs> nothing in the penalty pot. This is your last chance. You need four counters over the tipping point to get through to the next round. This is tough because they're right on the edge on number four, they but are. there aren't many up on the top shelf. I think I'm still going to have to go for number four. Drop zone four would be very popular in this round. <sighs> be even more popular if you can get four counters out now and you go through. If not, Eve, you will be going home. It's crucial. Is that going to be good? Stay where you are. Oh, no, don't. Oh, oh, don't. Oh, oh, no. oh. It was just too far it. over. Oh. Which means at the end of round one, Eve has £200, Ben has £400, James £350. Our runaway leader at the moment is Rini with £700. But with just £200, Eve, I'm afraid we found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you. So there are plenty of juicy overhangs in the machine, especially along that tipping point. But who can take advantage in round two? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where after a nail-biting round one, Rini, James and Ben are all one step closer to our £10,000 jackpot. In round two, they will each face 30 seconds of questions. Each correct answer they give me gives them a chance to earn some more cash. Once again, the player with the least amount of money at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Rini, you are in the lead. £700. You played that first round very well. You've got a big decision now, though. Do you think the machine is ready to pay out and you want to play her? Or would you like James or Ben to go instead? I'm going to go first. I think uh, there's still that lovely pile at um, Zone 4, so I'm going to try and get that. OK. They are looking very tempting, aren't they? You're going to have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as you possibly can. For each question you get correct, you'll get a counter to put into the machine. Your 30 seconds starts now. Which Friends actor stars as himself in the TV comedy episodes? Matt LeBlanc. Correct. Referred to by the Queen as her Annus Horribilis, in which year was the Windsor Castle fire? 1997. It was 92. Before German reunification, what was the capital of West Germany? Bonn. Correct. With which professional sport do you associate the names Ty Cobb and Babe Ruth? Baseball. Correct. Which musical features the songs All That Jazz and Mr. Cellophane? Chicago. Correct. In 2007, who replaced Kofi Annan as the UN Secretary General? Thank you, Moon. Thank you, Moon. I've got to take your first answer. Uh, it was Banky Moon, I'm sorry. Four questions correct, which means you've got four cracks at the machine. Drop zone four, that tipping point is looking very tempting. Do you want to go there or somewhere else? I'll, I'll start at drop zone four. OK, let's fire up drop zone four. When you're ready, release your first one. It's out. Is it going to settle? Mm. Yeah. Will it go over the edge? Ooh. This could be very tidy. A very nice. tidy start. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. There's a lot of counters ready to fall. They've got to have a good old shove, haven't they? Yeah, I think I'll keep going at number four. I thought you might. So drop zone four, please. Mm, that's nice. That's where I want it. That's better. Ooh. Two over the top would help. Oh, it's just being pinned. Don't drop now. Drop now. There you go. Oh. It's listening. It's doing what you ask. Will it get something over the tipping point? And will it be enough? One. Mm. It's 50 pounds. Two counters left to go. Are you going to take a risk and go somewhere else? Or are you going to I'm persist? I'm not going to leave it alone. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm going to go for drop zone four again. OK. Let's see if we can make this one count when you're ready. Is that the right place? Mm. 
Is it going to settle down? Oh, it's flat. Oh. Just need one in the right place. Oh dear. Oh. There you go. Right then, Rini. What are you going to do with the last one? I'm still going to stick with drop yeah. zone four. Okay, this is your last one now, Rini. You are 350 pounds ahead of Ben in second at the moment, so you've still got a lead. Come on, please. <laughs> Flat. Oh. Ooh, oh. another one. Oh, come on. And that silver drop, counter drop, could drop. drop. Yes. Oh, there you go. Oh. This could be the one. Yes, oh. <laughs> finally. An extra six fell to join that one that was on its own. So 350 goes into your bank. You've extended your lead. 1,050 pounds. Well played. So, Ben, we come to you. You came into this round in second place. I did, yes. Would you like to play? Or would you like to see James have a go first instead? Um, I think I'll play. You ready? Yep. Your 30 seconds starts now. In 2012, which football team won the Premier League? Uh, Manchester City. Correct. Which David Nichols novel was made into a 2011 film starring Anne Hathaway? Pass. One day. What does the letter G stand for in the political entity G20? Pass. Group. Which American singers' fans are known as Little Monsters? Uh, Lady Gaga. Correct. Yogi Bear stole picnic baskets from people in which fictional park? Yellowstone. It was Jellystone. Oh. Manuka and Acacia are varieties of which edible sweet liquid? Now time. Honey, just the two correct answers, Ben. I think to start, I'm going to go with the old favourite of Drop Zone 4 just to see if I can get that big lump <laughs> off, of, off of the end there. OK, so we're not asking much. Drop no. Zone 4, please. We'll see. <laughs> Needs to be landing on a sixpence, as they say. Not quite far enough. I don't know. I, that's not really where I wanted it to go, but it's going to split those two, we'll, isn't it? We'll see what happens. Stay where you are. Thanks for Whoa. the support, James. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the least I could do. Whoa! Yeah. Hey. Eight over the tipping point. Wow. That's four hundred pounds, which we stick into the bank, Ben. Not bad. So you got one left. Uh, I think just to change it up, I'm going to go for drop zone two. Drop zone two. Yeah. He's not had any action just yet. Is it going to pay off this time? Ben, release your final count. Six counts would guarantee you a place in the next round. Five to draw you level with me. Is it going to go over the edge? Where you are. Oh, no. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> Held tight along that top shelf. Unfortunately, that Stay. one didn't pay off, but we take that £400 from your first counter. Ben, put it into your bank, which means you now have £800. You're just sitting in second. That's the target for you, James. You've got £350. Last but by no means least. Thank you. OK, you can have 30 seconds to answer as many questions correctly as you can. You ready? Yep. Your 30 seconds start now. Which band's songs feature in the musical We Will Rock You? Queen. Correct. Which reality star split from Chris Humphreys after just 72 oh. days of marriage? Kim Kardashian. Which classic horror novel is, subti is subtitled Or the Modern Prometheus? Pass. Frankenstein. Ray Davis was the lead singer and songwriter Kings. for which... No, correct. At the 2009 World Championship, Jessica Ennis won a gold medal in which athletics event? Uh, pentathlon. It's heptathlon. Which film director played Richie Cunningham in the US TV sitcom Happy Days? Ron well, Howard. Correct. In May 2012, who was sacked from his post as manager of Liverpool FC? Um, pass. Pass. Kenny Dalglish. Yeah. Three counters, three correct answers, James. Not too bad. You've got a chance to do some damage. Well, as Ben's left it how it is, it would be rude not to go for <laughs> two, I think. Five counters will draw you level with Ben. Six will see you through to the next round. When you ready? Is that where you wanted it? No, but it all, it's a start. You can use these tactically, so as long as it's flat, which it is, you can do some damage. Anything over the shelf could Come be on, good. Come on, push. There you go. Ooh. Those will do. Come on. Yes, oh. thank you. Seven over the tipping point, 350 pounds. Where next? Well, as it's been underused, I'm going to go for one, I think. For the first time today, drop zone one is coming into play. Are you ready? Come out nicely. 
Not this time. One counter left, James. Do you take a risk? Go somewhere else? Or would you try and take advantage of the one that you've put over the edge of that top shelf? Well, it's looking tempting still, mm. so I'm going to stick with one. OK, drop zone one for the last counter in this round. Come on. Come I think on. you might be OK. There you go. Three into the wind Come zone. When you're going through. Oh. Yes! Four! <laughs> Over the tipping points. Another £200 by the skin of your teeth. <laughs> James, you put that £550 oh. into your bank, which means at the end of that round, Rini has £1,050. James, with the drop of the last counter, oh. goes through with £900. Ben, we found your tipping point. Thanks for playing. Thanks a lot. So with the very last counter, James is through to face Rini for the chance to play for £10,000. And for your chance to win a jackpot prize of £10,000, all you have to do is answer the following question correctly. If someone takes on a task that is too difficult for them, they're said to have bitten off more than they can what? A, chew, B, digest, or C, eat? If you think you know the answer, just give us a call on 0901 29 30 700. Calls cost no more than £1 and pence from BT Landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Text your answer A, B, or C to 63360. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate message or this free entry at the website. Entries must be 18 or over. Entries made after the lines close at 10 a.m. on Saturday will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck! <laughs> Welcome back to Tipping Point, where, thanks to his last gasp final <laughs> counter, James joins Rini in a head-to-head -head battle for the chance to play for £10,000 in our jackpot. As it stands, there's not much in it either. Rini is just £150 ahead with £1,050. James, you have £900. In this round, you'll face six questions, which will alternate between you three each. For every question, there is a precious counter up for grabs. If you're not sure you know the answer, you can pass it to your opponent to answer. If they're wrong, you still keep the counter. But if they get it right, they steal it from under your nose. It's a massive tactical decision. Whoever has the most amount of money at the end of this round is our winner, and we'll go forward to play for our £10,000 jackpot. When you came into this round in the lead, which means you can choose, would you like to face the first question, or would you like James to take it? I'll take the first question. OK, here we go. This is your first question. Which member of Girls Aloud released the debut solo album, Cinderella's Eyes? I think I'd pass this question to James. Yeah. James, you love them, don't you? No. <laughs> no, this couldn't be any worse. Oh, really? <laughs> can you think of any girls? Well, yes. I Which one? I can do two. I can do Cheryl Cole, and I don't think it's Cheryl Cole. So I've got to go with the other one I can name, which is Nadine Coyle. If it is Nadine, then you've stolen the count. If it's not, Rini, well played. Is the answer Nadine Coyle? It was Nicola Roberts. Yes. So you get to put your counter in the machine, Rini. Where would you okay. like to start? I'm going to go for zone number one. It's looking nice and full there. OK. When you're ready, Rini. Where you wanted it? Yeah, that not looks good. Not where I wanted it. <laughs> There you go, over the top. Mm, come on. Some weight, anything so over the tipping point. Ooh, five counters over the tipping point. That'll do. 250 pounds is a great start. Put that into your bank. You now have 1,300 pounds. Your first question, James. What colour jumper is worn by Rupert Bear? Oh, I've got two colours in my head and it's always the way, isn't it? Um, I'm going to pass it. OK, really? My lovely daughter, oh. who's now 15, still has her Rupert the Bear toy that Nanny gave to her and I believe his jumper's red. Is the answer red? It is. Yeah. It is red. Well done, Rini. Right. James, unfortunately, that didn't quite pay off. You get another counter, Rini, to extend your lead. Where do you want to go? I'm going to go for number one again. Let's see if we can make this one a little bit more effective again. Wow. Mm. Flew down, it settled it's... nicely. Oh. 
Ooh, not going to go, is I it? I don't think it's going anywhere. James. <laughs> That's a relief. It certainly is. <laughs> Meanie, we come to your second question. Which artist created the Scream, which, in 2012, became the most expensive artwork ever sold at auction? The Scream, I think, was painted by Edvard Munch. Is Edvard Munch the right answer? It is. Well done. It sold for just under £74 million. Where are you going to go? Creature of habit. I'm going to go for number one. Fair enough. See if we can get something over the tipping point. When you're ready, release your counter. Oh, not in that spot. Oh, flying out. There's a big uh, old the hole there, isn't there? Oh. oh, my goodness. Staying where it is. So, James, we come to your second question. Here we go. The world's tallest building as of June 2012, the Burj Khalifa, is in which city? You don't have to answer, but would Rini know? Well, he's not one I'm keen to pass to Rini, because when you travel as much as someone like Rini, you're probably going to know where it is. However, it doesn't help when I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine. Any ideas? I've got several ideas, but actually there's a long list. I'm going to have to pass, because I'm sure I'm about to get it wrong. He's passed it, Rini. Well, I know you're going to know it. Was he wise to pass it? I think it's Dubai. Is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai? It is. It is in Dubai. Right then, Rini. Another counter to put in. Well, I'd, I'd really like number one to pay out for me, please. It hasn't yet, has so, it? No, no, they seem to be stuck there, but um, I'm going to give it another nudge. OK. Playing very hard to get up till now, Rini. That could be just what you needed. This could on, be... Come on, come on, come on. Please. Some four. Drop. Oh. There you go. Rini, finally you managed to get some from Drop Zone 1. In fact, you got 10 over the tipping point, which is £500. Take that £500, put it into your bank, you now have £1,800. This is your third and final question. Shakespeare's character Hamlet is the prince of which European country? I believe I know this. I think he's the Prince of Denmark. Is Hamlet the Prince of Denmark? Yes. Well done, Rini. Where do you want to go? Number one is looking full at the top, but a bit sparse at the bottom, unless it falls in the right place between hmm. one and two. Um... No, I should have it tattooed into my forehead, number one. <laughs> You're <laughs> going back with drop zone one? Yeah, number one. OK, we're going to take drop zone one. This could be your last one. Is that where you wanted it? That, that'll do. I think it, it will. Could be trick. Just a little nudge. Mm. Anything else Ooh. to come? I think so. Ooh. Lovely. Thank Three you. more. Another £150 over the tipping point. That goes into your bank. Here comes your last question, James. Fashion designer Jeff Banks co-founded which high street fashion chain in 1976? You don't have to answer. You can pass to Rini. Yeah, and I've been very successful at doing that so far. <laughs> um, I really don't know, and I can't hazard a guess. Um, and if I did, it would probably be horribly wrong. So I'm going to pass it again. Rini, he's giving you another chance. I'm thinking French Connection. Don't think it's French Connection. Um, but that's all I can think of until you tell me the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> so... Do you want to go with French Connection? I'll go with French Connection. Did Jeff Banks co-found French Connection? He didn't. <laughs> it was Warehouse. Right. It was right. Warehouse. You know, James Warehouse? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. No. So we keep packing cases. Exactly. It's, it's very That's similar. Right. Fine. Very, very, very similar. <laughs> right then, at last. Oh, at last I get a go. Well, the only amount that's looking vaguely interesting is the one slap bang in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, have a go at three and see where it takes me to. £20,000. 
22 counters will see you through to the next round. <laughs> Keep saying it, it'll sound good. Come on. Hey, look, it's flat. <laughs> Anything over the edge? Ah. <laughs> no, it wasn't going to be. Oh, everything was conspiring against you in that round, James. I'm afraid you haven't got anything out of the machine. Rini, you played that quite superbly. Well done to you. You go through well with £1,950. With just £900, James, I'm afraid we've certainly found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Thank you. Very well played to you in a couple of minutes. Rini's going to be putting this jackpot counter into our machine. It's just a little bit bigger, but it's a whole lot better. Because, Rini, if you can get this out you'll be leaving with £10,000. And for your chance to win the jackpot prize of £10,000, all you have to do is answer the following question correctly. If someone takes on a task that is too difficult for them, they're said to have bitten off more than they can, what? A, chew, B, digest, or C, eat? If you think you know the answer, just give us a call on 0901 29 30 700. Calls cost no more than £1 and pence from BT Landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Text your answer A, B or C to 63360. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate message. All this free entry at the website. Entries must be 18 or over. Entries made after the lines close at 10am on Saturday will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck! <laughs> Welcome back to the final part of today's Tipping Point. Rini here has defeated all her rivals and now faces the ultimate challenge, a duel against our machine. You feeling confident? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes I am. As it stands, <laughs> you've got £1,950. Now, we're going to play for today's £10,000 jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put our gold jackpot counter into the machine. Quite simply, if you want to leave with £10,000, you just need to get it out again. And here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to ask you six questions, Rini, each on a given subject. For each subject, you can choose one, two or three answers. Three goes of the machine. The more goes you play for, the harder the question's going to be. But the more goes you win, the better your chance of getting the jackpot counter out of the machine and going home with £10,000. If you don't succeed, you get £50 for every counter over the tipping points but we want you to leave with that jackpot. So, shall we release the jackpot counter? Yes. Where is going to be the most effective place to put it to get it out again? I think I'll send it into number two. OK, drop zone two, please. Are you ready? Release your jackpot counter. Oh, that's a nice drop. You're not giving anything yes. away. Are you pleased with that? Yes, I think so. I wanted it to go somewhere that there wasn't too many around it because... Hopefully, if I get some more counters behind it, it will push it out quite quickly. You've got six over the tipping points just by dropping your jackpot counter into the machine, which is another £300, which is a lovely start. So here are your six endgame categories. Transport, music, words, comedians, tennis and animals. Do you want to go for something you're confident with, get off to a good start, or maybe take a risk on something you're not so sure about? I'm going to go for something that it, it could be wide open. Um, I'm going to go for animals. Animals for how many? For two. OK, let's start with an animals question for two counters, please. Here it is. The Red Admiral and the Cabbage White are types of which insect? Beetle, butterfly or grasshopper? Butterfly. You seem pretty adamant about that. Yes, yes, you know this definitely, one? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go with butterfly. Is the answer butterfly? Of course it is. Well yeah, done. Great. great start. So we've got ourselves two counters. Start trying to shift that jackpot. Drop zone two? Drop zone two, please. Mm. It's flown out. We're going to clear that shelf in front of it, though, aren't we? Yeah. There you go. Push it a little bit forward. Anything over the tipping points? Another four okay. counters over the tipping points. Another £200 for you, Rini. Your bank's gone up to £2,450. We've got one more to put in for this category. Drop zone two? Yep. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Got something over the edge. Yep. Any action on the tipping point? Not this time. Not horrific. No. But it's... not great. Let's get your next subject up. Transport, music, words, comedians or tennis? Another ambiguous one for me is words. Okay. 
so I'll get that out of the way and I'll try that with two as well, please. Okay, we'll have a words question for two counters, please. The word sayonara means what in Japanese? Hello, goodbye, or thank you. Have you ever flown to Japan? I have, I have, and I'm trying to think, when the passengers come on board, what do I say? <laughs> and I say, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I say goodbye and I say sayonara. Goodness, you're practically <laughs> bilingual. So we think it's goodbye. So sayonara means goodbye in Japanese. We're going to go with goodbye. Does sayonara mean goodbye? Yes, well done. Good. It does exactly mean goodbye. They're all falling nicely, aren't they, these questions? Yes. So two more, drop zone two. Yes, please. OK. We just need your counter to drop nicely, just behind that jacket. It would be lovely. There you go. Go on. That could be good. Is he going to say sayonara to that top shelf? Not this time. But it's very close. And another three over the tipping point. So it's another £150. One more to go. Drop zone two. Yep. OK. Drop zone two. Another one just like that last one would be perfect. Oh! That's fine. Are we going to say konnichiwa this time? <laughs> no! Oh, no. Right to the it gap. just edged to the left. What you have done is you've set up a nice bank of counters in front of it. Mm -hmm. So anything you get now is going to push it forward, hopefully. So we're left with transport, music, comedians and tennis. I'm going to go for comedians and I'm going to try and get that jackpot moving and go for three. OK. We're going to go with... A comedian's question for three. Brave move, let's hope it pays off. Which of these comedians starred as Vivian in the comedy series The Young Ones? Aid Edmondson, Steve Coogan, or Tony Robinson? I don't think Steve Coogan was in The Young Ones. Did you and used I, to watch it? Yeah, I did. Um, not avidly, but it always makes me smile when I think of um, Rick Mayo went, Oh, Vivian! He um, did. And, I think it was Aid Edmondson. OK, we're going to go with Aid Edmondson, please. Did Aid Edmondson play Vivian in The Young Ones? He did. Great. Well done. Great. Right, so I'm going to blitz drop zone two. I'd really like to get that counter over the edge, yeah. get it moving towards the... Uh, to towards the, the Yeah. We're going for a blitz on this. Ooh, that'll mm. do. We'll get some movement. See. Come on, be good. Oh, oh it's just gone oh, the other way again. At all. Ah. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? Two more to add to the total. Another hundred pounds, 2,700 pounds in your bank. Two to go. When you're ready. And drop zone two again. Drop zone two. Another one has fallen over the tipping point from in front of drop zone one. So that takes you 2,750. It's in a great position. You ready? Okay. When you want. Oh, that's nice. That might shift it a bit. That is very nice. Be good. Over the ledge. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Well done. Oh. Shift those as well. I enjoyed good. that one. Good. It's just making a little space for itself. It is, isn't it? It's like the parting <laughs> of the Red Sea. Drop zone two? Yep, drop zone two. Anything over the edge is what we want. Push left. There you go. Go on. Be good. Three subjects left. Transport, music and tennis. Where'd you go next? I'm going to go for tennis and I'll take three. Is that a bit of a risk? It is a risk, okay. yeah. yeah. We're going to go for a very brave three counters on tennis, please. In which year did the British tennis player Virginia Wade win the Wimbledon Ladies Singles Final? Was it 1967, 1977 or 1987? 35 years ago was the Silver Jubilee. Right. And Virginia Wade, I am sure she won it in that year. 2012 would be 35 years ago. So 
I believe it's 1977. So we're going to go with 1977? Yes. It is 77. It's another cracking answer and three more counters. That's right. She did. And two have fallen. In all the excitement, the machine's getting excited too. <laughs> Throwing them over the tipping point. Another 100 pounds. You've got 2,850 pounds. 10,000 pound jackpot counter. You now have three goes at shifting. Okay, drop yes. zone two. Drop zone two, please. Let's do it. Drop zone two, please. When you're ready, release the first of these three. Mm, Ooh. A bit too far over, isn't it? Just a touch. Ah, but that'll do. That'll do. Pushing. That's the one we wanted. Keep pushing. Oh. Keep pushing. Really, we are so close now. Oh, dear. So another £50 pounds makes you £2,900. Pounds. Job zone two again? Yes, please. Job zone two, please. Two left for this catcher. You're so close. Oh! Now that is the, gonna see anything over the edge. Oh! You feel that space. You've got another one. They are teetering on the edge, aren't they? Yeah. And I'm gonna blitz drop zone two again. Okay. Oh. You just need to get something over. This will clear that shelf. Oh. Still nothing. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Really? <laughs> How frustrating. You have two categories left. Potentially, you've got six counters. Okay. Where would you like to go, music or transport? I'll go for transport, please, and I'll go middle of the road and take two. Transport question for two. If it's about planes, that would be lovely. Yeah. yeah. Which central London station is the terminus for Eurostar trains? Euston, Liverpool Street, or St Pancras International? It's St Pancras International. Are you sure? I'm 99% sure, okay. so I'll go for it. Is the answer St Pancras International? Yes! Great. Come on now. Okay, come You're on. absolutely right. right. So let's not rush this now, Rini. Drop zone two. Drop zone two, please. Okay. You ready? Release your first one. Oh, it's bouncing around. Come on, please. Is it right, going to get please. over the edge? Oh, oh. Oh, my goodness me. Wasn't expecting that. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a quarter of the jackpot counter over the tipping point. It's the weight of the counters in front, and it went sideways, didn't it? We've got that lateral movement, which can be so effective. You've got another one now, okay. Rini. Drop zone two. Number two, please. This could be the one. Oh, now then, see, let's if see. that edges the silver one over, yeah, is this it, Rini? <laughs> is it going to do it? Congratulations. Oh, Look at that. Wow. All on its own. All on Doesn't its own. It look lovely? Looking <laughs> glittery and gorgeous and glamorous. You Fabulous. managed to do that, Rini, with another category to spare. Absolutely wonderful game. How do you feel? Oh, I can't believe it. Absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy your jackpot ten thousand pounds. Brilliant. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Rini went head to head with James and proved herself the master. Then she completely bossed the machine. She leaves with £10,000. Join us next time when the fate of four more players will hang in the balance on tipping points. Goodbye. <laughs>